What is up, my people? How the heck are you doing? You know the drill. It's your boy, Tyler Nolan, and your other boy, Josh. Woo. My Car Caribbean, Caribbean? Caribbean, Caribbean. Car my Caribbean friend. <laughs> so we are out here today. I got a special <laughs> announcement. Not a special announcement, but it's kind of like a surprise video. Um, for an animal that I've had for maybe about a week now that I have not even told you guys about I'll give you a little hint. It came from my good friend Kevin McCurley over at nerd. Thank you very much Bro, I really really appreciate it now if you guys don't know already a few weeks ago Actually, no oh, man time flies a couple months ago Christmas. Okay <laughs> Christmas came around It was 75 degrees during the day. It dropped to 30 degrees at night. Okay? My black Asian water monitors, the black dragons, Tyson and Latifa, they got out of their heat boxes during the day to bask in the sun, and then the temperature dropped to 30 degrees that night. I didn't get to check on them until the morning, and they freaking froze overnight. Latifa went into her water bowl to get warm from the sun that day. She stayed in her water when the cold spike happened, pretty much froze to death. And then same thing with freaking Tyson. Tyson got out of his heat box, and froze to death up top and it was devastating i didn't make a video i mean i made a video afterwards about it but i didn't make a video of it actually happening because it was just it was it was horrible like i didn't post for like a week or so after that just because it was it put me in a really bad mental space there are animals that i loved i raised them from babies and this year was finally the year that i was going to be able to breed them and they were one of the reasons why i bought my property not only did i buy obviously i bought my property because i had my daughter and i want my daughter to grow up on a farm and like have animals and learn responsibility yada yada have a nice plenty of space to grow and play and have fun but also the main reason was for my animal my animals were outgrowing their cages so I needed to move to a bigger property to build them the proper enclosures that they deserved and Sadly enough, I lost them and it was really really and put me in a really bad mental spot for a little bit But my friend Kevin reached out to me and he was kind enough to send me a couple more as a surprise He sent me that pet black dragon Josh that you guys saw in that last video Josh is actually at a friend's house my buddy Austin Austin has Josh right now He's uh, supposedly hopefully he's breeding with a female right now. He's in cage with that So we'll keep you tuned with whatever happens with that. Hopefully Josh produces some babies We get some black dragons from him, but we still have butters here butters is a T positive albino water monitor that he also gifted me super super beautiful Which you will see later on in this video when we go into the garage I have him set up in a big enclosure in my garage right now oh. This is Butter's Cage, and as you can see, size comparison to Josh, it is a very big enclosure. Not necessarily, but for him, he is on the smaller side. So this animal right here is about a year old, and he knows that we're in the garage, so he kind of hides, and he's a little bit skittish at the moment. Hey, you're okay, dude. Hey, relax, relax, relax. It's okay. It's all right. So... Butters, as you can see, he's just a little bit on the crazy side still. So we're gonna move him to a smaller enclosure today. Now keeping smaller lizards like this or just younger lizards like this, giving them a lot of room in a big enclosure, it just kinda, it's not as secure. They feel like they're in the wild and I'm like more of a predator. So they get very scared of you and they're not as chill as they would be in a smaller enclosure. That way there's just less room for them to run around. There's more one-on-one -on -one action with them and it's much, much easier to come in here, open up their glass, get them, coax them out with some food and gain their trust. So that is what I need to do with him first. I thought that this cage was gonna be perfect for him but it turns out that it's just it's just a little bit too big for now. So I'm gonna wait until they get a little older to move them into bigger enclosures like this. So today we have a couple 40 gallon um, cages. They're Carolina custom cages that I got on Amazon, I think a while ago for the indigo snakes, like a few years ago. So I still have those cages. We're gonna move them into this little area right here. So that way every day I could come into here, I can open up their cages and just interact with them a little bit more of a one-on-one, -on -one, not so much space encounter you know what i mean makes sense right and obviously me and gianna are in the garage all the time because we got all of our babies in here we got we got j-lo and ben affleck our ducks we like to hang out with them as much you didn't know that's what their names are yeah jennifer lopez and ben affleck how funny is that south park another south park reference we like south park over here <laughs> then we got 14 chickens a lot of them are babies and then two of them are a few weeks old already 
Um, I think there's like six silky chickens, five Rhode Island Reds, and then two Jersey Giants. And we also have some red-bellied Phoenix chickens on the way. Those are the roosters with the really, really long tails. They're super beautiful, bright red. They got really nice manes and stuff. They're very, very cool. So I'm going chicken crazy, guys. I got, I got the sickness. I got the sickness of the chickens. I need, I need more chickens, okay? All the chickens, give them to me. Every color, every shape, all of them. I need them. En enough silly stuff. Let's go get these cages and set everybody up. And I'm going to show you what the surprise animal is today. I'm very excited. To meet her there's another clue right there comment down below what you think it's gonna be i'm really excited about it kevin i can't thank you enough dude i owe kevin so much dude like ah, i love these animals i'm very very happy to at least have some monitors back eventually i'm gonna get some more all black dragons because i just love having a jet black animal you know they look like komodo dragons They're really really cool excuse the mess in here this is the snake shed it is a disaster me and josh got to clean this later when we're done with this video but these are the 40 gallon breeder carolina custom cages they're super cool it's got sliding glass plenty of room for these guys especially the size that they are and then there's something in here that you can't even see right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move these cages first and then when we're in the garage i'll take her out and show you the new surprise animal yeah, yeah these cages are awesome man all glass uh, another really cool feature about them is it's all sealed on the bottom so if you did want to fill it up for like a turtle tank or something you could put a little bit of water in them and it actually holds water really well but they're really nice cages we're gonna get these things cleaned out pristine for these animals today and make them real look fancy look at that oh look at that booty right there hell yeah that looks awesome it fits perfect right there bueno bueno boom baby look at that setup looking good got all the heat in here we got hide boxes for both of them we got nice big water bowls because obviously both of these animals love to be in the water that looks really good josh and it fits great in the garage even next to this even though now this cage is going to be empty this is going to look great and another one of the main reasons why i moved them into my garage is because I want to be able to just, they're, they're very expensive animals, very expensive little babies, about five grand a piece or more, depending on who you go through. So I don't want to lose them, okay? They're really fast. Sometimes they'll bite you and it's just all sorts of things that happen. So I like to be able to close my garage door. That way I know if he gets all nimbly bimbly and somehow gets out of my grip or whatever, you know, he jumps off of me, takes off their fast as so i want to make sure they stay in here right so josh i want to go hit that garage door button right over there and then let's see how butters is going to act today fingers crossed i do not get bitten he's been really crazy since he's been in that cage like i said obviously you guys saw the video before you can go click right here go watch it when i got him taking him out of the bag he was super mellow and calm it was also kind of a chillier day now it's hot as crap out here but it was a little bit cold out so he's a little bit on the nostalgic side dude this looks great with the look at that That's looks awesome. awesome with the door down which this it fits perfect it looks great i love having animals in here There's so many animals in here and uh butters was actually out yesterday and he was on the cage right around here and he was like looking down into <laughs> the chick bin like this little brooder that i have set up right here he was Snack he was side eyeing these chicks like he wanted to eat them. So can't have any escapes, or else I might have a bunch of dead chickens and a real fat <laughs> lizard. Let's see how this works, and then we will show you the new surprise animal. Finally, I know it's been a long time waiting, but let's see how my dude is gonna act today. Hey, 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 relax, relax. Hey, it's it's okay. You're okay. Hey, dude, it's great. It's okay. Hey, chill out. Chill, chill, chill. Hey, relax. Relax. I know I'm kind of holding him, like, holding him tight. Or not tight, but, like, I don't want him to run away because, obviously, he's being a little bit on the crazy side right now. Oh. Hey, dude, relax, relax. <laughs> hey, oh. relax, oh. relax, you see? He's just very, like, he's so fast. Like, look at, look at the movement on here. Super, super fast. At least he hasn't tried to bite me, which is good. He's only tried to bite me last time. Last time, he was just real aggro and being crazy. But, look, he's already starting to calm down. A little bit. Where's he at? I don't see him. Hold on, he's coming around here. There we go. Look at this. You just got to be so careful with these lizards, man. Especially when you're trying to calm them down and work with them. 
Like always positive interactions with these guys. If you have a crazy animal like this, and every time, every time you go into the cage, and you try to get them out, and you just forcefully grab them, and you just piss them off, and you make them super scared of you, they're never gonna calm down and be cool animals. You want positive interactions every single time. So now that he's gonna be in a smaller enclosure, I'm gonna be able to come out here, pull up a little chair. Ooh. Pull up a little chair. See how fast he is? Imagine if he got out, out there. Once he gets in the grass, on the concrete, he's not so fast because he kind of does burnouts and he can't really get traction and take off. But in the grass, no way that I'm catching this animal. He will just take off and see you later, butters. He's out in the wild just living his best life, okay? And that is not what we want. We got enough invasive animals in this world. We don't need more things getting loose, okay? So that's what you want to do. You just want to... Nice and calmly, just chill with him, work him, let him run, let him do his thing, try not to hold him and grab them, you know? It's hard, it's easier said than done, you know what I mean? Especially his nails, his nails are razor freaking sharp. They're like little hypodermic needles. They're so freaking sharp. So all he's gotta do is touch you with those little, oh, you spitting up water? Blah. He must have been drinking a little bit ago. <laughs> he's spitting up water a little bit. So I don't, wanna, I don't wanna freak him out anymore. Look, he's spitting up water. We're gonna put you in your new enclosure. It's the perfect size for him, you see that? So now, this way, I can come into the garage. I can sit down with him by his cage. I'm gonna get a, uh, like how Brian Barcheck does the whole little target training. He uses the little balls on the end of the stick. I'm gonna start doing some target training with him. Get him to come out, touch the nose with his ball, and then give him a treat as a reward, like a little piece of a pinky or a whole pinky, whatever the hell the case is. So then hopefully he will just get nice and calm and tame. And then when he's a big, beautiful dragon, I can take him out. People could come over when they do the animal encounters and little tours on the property. They can actually interact with this animal and just learn more about them and not be so scared of them. Because that's what this is all about. It's all about education and just teaching you guys about these animals and how not everything, yeah, even though they might be dangerous, bro, but there's ways, ew, that was gross. But there's ways to read their body language and just become more friendlier with your animals, you know? So, whoa! We just lost a light. Oh, do you see these stupid lights? What the heck just happened? Is it getting too hot? I don't even freaking know. <laughs> Anyways, so let's get Butters locked up. We got nice showcase locks on here. So that way no funny business happens. Another reason why I have them in the garage, high dollar lizards. I don't want them outside so people can freaking come and mess with them even though that we're locked and loaded over here and I got security cameras and I got guns everywhere. So don't you come over here around and find out the wrong way. All right, so let's go, uh, let's go grab the surprise animal, which I'm hoping by now you guys are smart enough to have figured it out, but maybe some of you aren't. That ain't my problem. Mm. Yeah, look at this. This is literally just from the five minutes of holding butters. Little cuts, and I'm bleeding all over the place. Those little claws are razor freaking sharp. No joke. We had her set up in one of those 40 gallon cages before this. I only put her in this rack while we move the cages over here. Just so you guys don't freak out. Why are you keeping a water monitor in the rack? I'm not. <laughs> She's been in here for 15 minutes, so pump the brakes. All right, so let's see how this little baby is doing. Now, she is actually a lot more calm than Butters. Look at this beautiful baby. So her name is Lexus, Butters' girlfriend. How cute is this little animal? Look how beautiful that is. So freaking pretty, right? Such a cool animal, dude. I love her. She's got an orange eyeball. This is also a T-positive albino water monitor. She's about a year old, I believe. So she's close in size of Butters. She's a little bit smaller. Look how beautiful that little face is though. So freaking cute. And she's giving me some nice friendly tongue flicks. She's not spazzy or anything. Every time I've been handling her every single day, I go into my snake shed, take her out, let her crawl all over me. She has the temperament of Onyx. Now you guys obviously know Onyx. He's super, super chill, likes to crawl on me. I can walk around the property with him outside. He doesn't try to jump off me and run everywhere. She has a very similar personality to Onyx, which I'm very thankful for. Kevin McCurley does such a great job socializing these animals before he ships them out. Right from the time that they hatch, they make sure that they handle these animals 
Oh my God. <laughs> that was such a big poop. All right, little guy, get over here. At least you're not running and being crazy. You're just pooping on me. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Lexus. Wow. Oh my God, that smells so bad. Fish. Almost like they have like, it's almost like light lavender on mm -hmm. their skin, like yellow and lavender. They're just such beautiful animals. Very different than the black dragons. Obviously black dragons are jet black. They don't really have any pattern. And I really appreciate an animal with a pattern, which is really cool. Cause as these guys grow older, they're gonna get lighter in color and just get prettier and prettier. Oh, we got a little fly on there. Get off that. But just look how cute this little baby is. Oh, I love her. Let's go put her in her new cage and see how she likes it. All right, come on, Lexus. Look at that. So look, Butters is already hiding in there. But Lexus. This is your new cage, sweetheart. She was in this cage down here before, but since Butters is a little bit bigger than her, I'm gonna give Butters that bottom cage, and then she has this top one. Set up perfect, like I said before, heat box is on the hot spot. They have a little branch where they can climb up and get closer to the heat light if need be. Um, obviously, I'm keeping them in my garage in Florida, so sometimes this heat light is not going to be on off camera after this video i have a nice little thermostat i'm going to set up so that way if the temperature gets too hot in here it's going to kill those heat lights for the time being and then when it cools down later on in the day i'll we'll turn it back on and just to keep the temperatures at the exact where, where we want it that's pretty much the whole goal here so you've got a new cage lexus where's the lock right, let's get this baby girl locked up you're so cute oh so so freaking happy kevin mccurley over at nerd if you guys don't know, go check them out. Kevin's a great dude. I really appreciate it. Can't thank you enough, bro. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go change my clothes and take a shower because I got a water monitor poop all over me. And oh god, <laughs> dude, it smells so bad. Josh, thank you so much for helping me out, my dude. Okay. Josh is also a tattooer, guys, here in South Florida. His shop is in Hollywood. Hollywood, yep. Hollywood, Hollywood Beach, Florida. Guys are in the area, you want a sweet tat? I'll put all Josh's information down here. Go check him out, give him a follow, he deserves it. And you're gonna see a lot more of him. He's gonna be over here on the property helping me out all the time, as much as he can. He's a daddy also, so we got crazy schedules. And he's a tattooer, so he, just, he knows how it is. But I appreciate the help, bro. Always. I need it, finally, got some help. And comment down below, how do you think he's doing on the camera? I think he's doing great, right? Bro, you're a tattooer. You got steady hands. That's all that it is. Steady hands. And he already does it. He got, he's got a podcast you guys can go check out. He's he's in the biz, so he knows how to do this stuff, which is what I need, okay? I don't want to have somebody come over here, and then I got to teach him how to film and teach him how to do Just hold the camera still. Everybody that comes over here and helps me, it's like this when I edit it. I'm like, what the hell? Hold it still. Action. Action mode. Dude, drives me crazy. Like Alex. Alex, when Alex first started, it was like this every freaking video. <laughs> but finally, Alex is doing great. He has his own channel now. He's killing it. I love killing it for that. I love that for Alex. So until next time, guys, TylerNolanTattoos.com for all of your merch. Go give Josh a follow. See you later. God bless. And I'll see you on the next one.